This is normal Star Wars Empire at War, and this is the realistic one. I am Rebel Admiral Rooster, and I am taking over the galaxy one planet at a time, fighting battles I shouldn't win. I follow this military doctrine, and am always on the run. The goal? To defeat the evil Imperial Admiral Dave. Alright, and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War, but it's realistic. My name is Admiral Rooster, in command of the fledgling Rebel Alliance, fighting against the evil Imperial Admiral Dave, who controls the Green Galactic Empire. And so in this episode, we are going to be having an extremely tough fight, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, against the Executor Super Class Star Destroyer. However, I will note that as per this commenter, Toto Nerd, he states that if we if we reload a save in which a fleet is on the move, it loses its Pathfinder. So we're actually going to hold off this battle until later, but don't worry, we're going to get into it. We're going to have a lot of fighters and we're going to definitely fight against the Executor. But first, I have to pull these forces out and then get a Pathfinder or we're going to lose a lot of troops, which is something that we do not want. So right at the beginning, let's let's see though. Let's let's take a peek at what the executor actually looks like, so then I can come back after bringing my forces, pulling them back, and then I can kind of get the right formation. Cause this this ain't gonna work. If you take a look, I've got way too many big ships and not enough fighters. I mean, look at this. I've got three Y wings, two A wings, one K wing, and just one X wing, one B wing, two Z ninety fives. No, that's not going to happen. All of these larger ships really are just tanks, and they're not going to be tanking this massive, elongated Dorito. So that's not going to happen today. Rather, what we're going to do is we're going to pull our forces back, and we're going to redo the situation. So thank you, Total Nerd, for that comment. And we're going to get right back into things and send it right at the Executor. The largest ship in the Imperial Navy. That is absolutely terrifying, and it's probably... <laughs> Probably gonna result in a few losses, so I am mildly concerned about that. We're gonna send our troops back here. Maybe rendezvous as well with what we have on both the what imminent enlisting soldiers. Oh wow. Oh wow, okay. So immediately I am under attack. I am under attack at Naboo. I know I was going to attack at Ziri as well, because I think forces are being, yeah, I destroyed everyone coming to Eris, so I do have to take out at Ziri from Admiral Dave. Uh, okay, so we've got a lot of different Star Destroyers, three big boy Doritos, three big boy Star Destroyers, plus Admiral, or Cap Commander Shed, this guy, and then a, a few others versus my five medical frigates and one little frigate um that's a problem actually i'm not gonna lie that's a bit of an issue in which we uh don't really have the forces to be able to defend it but i'll see what i can do it seems you have a medium shipyard on the top of naboo that is going to be defending it a little bit we also have the support of some naboo starfighters which will be helpful we'll actually keep them toward the fleet i was thinking of surrounding dave here and uh, just <laughs> trying to send our forces forward, but I actually don't think that's a good idea. Me using three squadrons of fighters against the this massive fleet that Dave is bringing, it's not going to work. It's not going to be to our benefit. So I'll just use what I got. So what do I have here? I have a shield leeching MC-80 Freedom, a lovely capital ship, ship that is built for... Uh, taking out the shields of ships that are unfortunately not very shield heavy so that's great um, and then we also have a lot of anti-fighter support which is helpful and then some fighters as well oh this is the really nice quasar fire carrier that comes with three different or three squadrons of the high tonnage starfighters we have two squadrons of Y wings and one squadron of B wings which is excellent for us. That's actually really nice, I'm not gonna lie. But in terms of high damage output, we actually don't have a lot at our disposal. This fleet is not really that good, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I mean, I'll see what I can do. But overall, thankfully we do have the Naboo, uh, Nabooian, or just Naboo Starfighters from Episode 1, which do have Proton Torpedoes as well. So they can help out against the Imperial mess that we're going to be experiencing but at the moment yeah 
right, let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna pull back all the fighters, bring them up at the rear. Have everyone kind of huddle against the space station a little bit. I actually probably should bring them up also a little bit. So let's have the fleet not including our starfighters. So what do we got here? Let's get you, for instance. Let's have you moving and turning about. You as well. And you as well. The angle at which the fleet is coming in is there. So I don't want our quasar, our, our fighter carrier, to be up front. That's not a good idea. We want everything that does a lot of damage to be facing toward the enemy. And then our shield leech slash tank, tanky... Uh, capital ship, you'll be you'll be up in the front. We want the space station to take a little bit of damage, but we don't want it to take up too much. Reason being is that it does provide us with the benefit of the um, the bonuses that we can buy that I actually just ordered right now. We've got tier two little bonuses, so we got a home home advantage here, the home turf advantage, which will be helpful to an extent, but not that great. Oh boy, okay, so what do we got? We've got... Uh, okay, I totally angled this wrong. We've got... <laughs> we've got the fleet coming out the left, actually. Uh, well, actually the right. So we've got the fleet coming out at the right. And it's quite extensive, oh my gosh. Look at that, we've got two Imperial Class Star Destroyers, three Victories, this weird cruiser... And then a whole lot, a couple of artillery ships. A whole lot of artillery ships, actually, there are three. It's a really well-balanced fleet, and that is a big problem for us, I'm not gonna lie. Already, we're taking damage. And so what I'm thinking is, because it's range damage that we're gonna be taking, we need to charge the fleet up a little bit. I'm gonna bring everybody up. Bring everyone up. Just a wee bit, so we can get some cover fire for our starfighters. It's very important. Meanwhile, I want starfighters to prepare the assault. Let's see what we can do here. So, we have not too many fighters. It's a lot, but not a ton. Who are we facing off against? An Imperial 2 and an Imperial 1. The Imperial 2 class Star Destroyer has no anti-fighter capabilities. The Imperial 1 has a little bit. We need to watch out for these guys right here. Commander Sheds, Architans, and then another Architans. They'll provide some light fire support. But for the most part, we can just kind of head on over, focus on the shield generator, actually have the Naboo... The Naboo Starfighters go over there. We're going to focus on the Shield Generator. Use whatever Starfighters we have that have missile capabilities. And then kind of see what we can do from there. Who did I not select from this group? We can have our Long Probe Y-Wings, which are just Starfighters. They don't really do much in the way of bombing runs, but they most certainly can help out a little bit in terms of damage output. And then where are my B-Wings? Here we go. The B-Wings. Big boy B-Wings. Come on in. I need you. Absolutely need you. And let's have this fleet kind of just chill out for a second. Calm down. Please. Alright. Protect our... <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Okay. Clearly we're taking out this first Architans. Great job. Alright everyone. Now we got to move in. I want to go in and take out... Oh boy, this victory is already causing problems. He's destroying part of our fleet already. Let's focus up, take out the shield generator. Let's not mess around here. I really want to get that down. These heroes, unfortunately, Admiral Dave can get them quite quickly, quite, e e quite easily. So uh, it's not to my benefit to really destroy them very quick, <laughs> unfortunately for me. But that's alright, that's alright. We've got this lovely Corellian Corvette that can provide some light fire support at the rear. In fact, if we can, let me try to run this blockade. I'm going to see if this can work. This is called a uh, hunter technique in which you move the Corellian Corvette all the way to the back. What is this called? The Corellian gunship? Yeah, it's a Corellian gunboat. It's got a lot of different missiles. And if it goes to the rear of the enemy, he can use his missiles and then also be away from their firing arc. So this would be the firing arc right here toward the front of these Imperial, Imperial Class Star Destroyers. So we gotta take out the second shield generator. Let's get the N1s in there. Really aim for those shields, folks. Really aim for those shields. Excellent work. Okay, now we gotta take out these starfighters. We got a lot of different fighters coming in. We don't want them messing 
up with our we don't want them messing with our uh, our y wings oh boy okay we lost our capital ship oh boy okay do you have a supplement drop not for me at the moment i'll <sighs> yikes you have proton torpedoes hit this isd please go straight in hard burn because you'll probably take a, a heap of damage on the way so i don't really want to lose you we're gonna lose this quasar class cruiser oh man naboo is actually really taking a lot of heat right now oh no <laughs> Did I lose? I have one Nebulon V left. That is so tragic. Okay. Yikes. That's a real yikes. I'm losing a ton of people. What am I getting? A reinforcement. That's great. What I got? Oh, Hammerhead. You're going to do the same thing that the Corellian gunboat is doing. Just bring it to the rear. Who else we got? Nobody else. Okay, just an X-Wing. I'll take an X-Wing. X-Wing, help out against this ISD, please. And thank you. Alright, I've got this one hammerhead. You just kind of provide fire support against this Architins, please. Open up the S-Foils. No more reinforcements. Okay, that is it. That is it. Let's see. We got the ISD. We got one Imperial Star Destroyer. Let's see what else we can do here. Wow, we have a lot of fighters just kind of in this mess here. Um... Hmm. What do we have in total? We've got six N1 Starfighters, five Y Wings, five default or long probe Y Wings that are good against Starfighters. The issue is we don't have cover. We don't have a lot of cover, and they might provide a lot of fire support against our our, our troops, some AA. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring everyone to kind of take out some easier targets. Because I don't know if we'll make it. I don't know if we'll make it to be able <laughs> to destroy any of the harder guys. So let's let's go for this this little victory right here. And if we can do that, then we can go for the next one. If we can get the next one, we can hit the other one. We'll just keep doing that over and over again. Because that's all we can do right now. Meanwhile, what I do want is I want to peel the N1s. And I want them to go and take out this Architons. Because it's causing a little bit too much chaos for my guys. Yeah, get that Architons out of there. He's taking out this poor Hammerhead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take him out, take him out. Long probes? Where are my long probes? I need you to help take out these TIE Fighters. They're doing too much damage to the, the Y-Wings over here. We've got another ISD coming in. That's not a good thing. He's also... Oh, he's deploying his Starfighters. Okay. We might need our Interceptors. Interceptors! Interceptors, I need you to prepare to intercept. T-Wings, watch out, you guys. Interesting, interesting engines. Little triangle engines here. Yeah, go get them, please. Take out these TIE Fighters. You're going to need to deal with them, stat. Meanwhile, I also want the Z-95s to also start dogfighting against the Star Fighters. It ain't a good idea to have us just kind of bouncing around here. Yeah, 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 do that. Okay. Good. The N1s, keep targeting this Carrick. Meanwhile, or actually you 3 N1s, help out against the Starfighters. Let's regroup. Get our long probes. Go after the ties as well. My gosh. Look at those beautiful frames. <laughs> I'm telling you, I used to play Empire at War when I was very young. Not very young. I'm not even that old. <laughs> I'm in my early 20s. Uh, when I was in high school, I used to play Empire at War on our old little computer before I, I got myself a gaming laptop and all that jazz in college I used to play on this really old computer and I oh my gosh I'd only be able to play like this like completely uh, at a 180 degree angle or is that 90 looking straight down to get 30 frames but now here I am able to look at the entire disaster of this, this battle and I can see everything that I'm messing up on in perfect flawless 30 frames per second or maybe 60 i think this game can go up to 60 so <laughs> oh gosh how lucky am i right how lucky am i all right let's get this hull let's take this guy out really finish off this um this victory here we don't really want to deal with this for too much longer take out the victory and then let's go after the next one <laughs> jeez what is this uh okay 
Interceptors, go after that Carrick, please. Meanwhile, everyone else, I want you to target this Victory Class Star Destroyer. We're going to do that. So we can just cause as much damage as possible to Dave's forces. We might not be able to do a ton. We might not be able to win. But we will most certainly be able to at least try to take out as many of his troops and bring them with us. <laughs> Alright, come on. Take out this Garrick. Take him out. You might need some help. I understand. What are the Z95s? Z95s, come on, help out and take out these fighters, please. Same with the long probes. Do that if you can. Where are my long probes? Yeah, take out these fighters. They're really hitting you too hard. Here, get this TIE fighter. Get that TIE fighter. There you go. There we go. Okay. Did we get that, Carrick? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Hit him with Ion's Y-Wings. Ion cannons are wonderful. Unfortunately, we did lose our Y-Wing squadron, but uh, Ion cannons are great because they can decrease the fire rate of different ships and also cause them to not move as fast. Very beneficial for us. Here's the workhorse of the Rebel Alliance, the X-Wing class. The X-Wing Starfighter. A beauty. It's most certainly doing a ton of damage. I wish we could see the stats of these guys. You know, looking at all these Starfighters, you know they've got a crazy count of however, however much damage they did to the Empire, plus you know damage to the subsystems. I wish I could find out what my guys have done in this battle. Because we've got some pretty strong fellas. Unfortunately, though, we are losing a lot of Starfighters. <laughs> you know... In this game, in this mod, we're playing Awakening of the Rebellion, Rebel Sim 1.1, the Rooster variant. Um, but in general, in Awakening of the Rebellion, and, and in the lore, the Empire is not really good at taking out what these are called snub fighters. Essentially, tiny little craft inside of space. They're starfighters. And the big Doritos that you're looking at all aren't designed to take them out very easily or take them out very well. So most of the shots that hit, like that one just now on your, on your screen, that has to be like a lucky shot, right? Because most of them, especially this Imperial, was this thing, the Imperial 2, wherever it was, I don't know where it is. It has, um, I think I might have destroyed it. It doesn't have any point defense, and point defense is what is used against these starfighters. It doesn't have any. And so my guys are really able to kind of hit these these cruisers hard, especially if the Empire doesn't properly use its starfighter coverage, which <laughs> fortunately for me, Dave does not, which is great. But in essence, that's kind of what we're kind of what we're dealing with. A lot of lucky shots here. Like look, these guys, they zoom so fast. You see this? This one's <laughs> this starfighter probably ain't gonna make it, but they're zooming so fast, and these these huge lasers, they're slow. You know, it's hard to track them and stuff. It's hard to predict it. But, if you do it right, you can get a whole lot of damage in. And you can destroy my starfighters. Unfortunately, it seems like this is kind of the end of the battle, I'm going to be honest. I'll pull a fast one, see if I can auto-resolve. <laughs> but now we got nothing. We got nothing. I lost. Yeah, I lost pretty bad. All right, you know what? That's not bad. I lost a medium shipyard and five nebulons and one neutron star bulk carrier to an Architans, a couple Architans. I'm sorry, I hit my mic. A couple Architans, a Carrot Cruiser, an Imperial 2, and two Victory Class Star Destroyers plus Commander Shed. It's not the worst. It is not the worst, but it most certainly could be better. So we'll be, we're improving. We'll be improving. I will say that every single episode I do, I'm learning a little bit more about this game and I'm learning how to better perform. So speaking of which, let's look at the battle agenda real quick. We've got space defense, which is successful, fantastic. We've got a reconnaissance, which is for Dagobah, so we can check that out. And then we have gain planetary control of Utapau, which, ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice reward. 252, oh, 262 is the week we gotta get it done, okay. And then a pirate rescue, on Balmora. I think Balmora is the one that's not worth it. That I'm probably not gonna do. <laughs> unfortunately. But I will take out Adziri. Turn on all the things. Shout out to Captain Shaq. And then on top of that, let's make sure that we got uh, the Executor as well. So let's put in let's put in a Pathfinder here. Oh. Let's grab our... Uh, what is this? Okay. Hold up. You move here. 
you go here and then let's take you nebulon and pathfinder up oh. okay <laughs> okay are you kidding me right now uh-huh uh-huh uh, okay Nabu ground assault i can i can defend maybe against the jeez louise that's so many of those artillery things you guys have seen this in the previous episodes they've got these crazy artillery craft that that's just it's honestly ridiculous i don't know how to defeat them that well especially since it's it's oftentimes defended by other infantry so it's like what the heck am i supposed to do here i think one possible option is to use my air my air units to kind of just defend best i can I don't know if that's the, the best, or if that's the greatest strategy, but it's a strategy. Alright, let's 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 try to see if we can defend our troops as well. Oh boy, oh! Oh, okay, so what do we have here? We just have army troopers, which are the lowest tier infantry for the Empire, that are taking out the four Gungans over here. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't really do anything for you. If you pop out some more troops, maybe I'll help. There you go, there you go, Gungans. Throw out those Boombas. And nice, you got you got a couple of them. Good job. Okay. So we'll defend this position as well as we can. And then let's use our Tauntaun to just, just keep building up as many turrets and as much as you can, really. If you guys have been watching the series for a while, you know that I'm a huge fan of turrets and use them extensively. Because honestly, it's it's like the only way I can successfully defend against Dave here. And thankfully, we have the locals for Nabu on our side, so they'll be helping defend this place as well. But not not too great, probably. All right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's let's get some troops over here. Let's kind of make sure that we don't have everybody in the same spot. I don't want. Oh boy. I don't want too much of an issue coming up. We're gonna have a big issue with losing troops. Alright. So what do we got? We got some infantry coming in. Really suppress them, guys. Come on now. Come on now, troops. Come on. Get up front. Oh, don't go up front. Infantry, stay back. Stay back, infantry, stay back. You're getting hit by artillery. Okay. What do we got here? <laughs> Alright. Wow, that is terrible. Okay. What what can I do? What can I do here? You can keep firing into the crowd, maybe. The problem is the artillery is really going to hit hard. Crazy hard, in fact. And that is a problem. This artillery right here is ridiculous. It's so tough to defeat. So tough. We can probably clear through the infantry, like the first line of infantry, I bet. The problem is... That artillery is so tough. We cannot defeat it. What are you? What are you? Are you... Are you anti-tank? Can you fight against these guys? Oh my gosh. Now they have infantry in the back line too. Okay, nice, nice. You ioned him. Good job, good job. Now you're dead. Okay. <laughs> Woo, that's terrible. Okay, Tauntaun. I'm going to have you move over here. See if you can grab that ground position. Troops. Just keep hitting them. Just keep hitting them. Use that barricade to your advantage. Thank goodness we have that air unit which is about to go. But thank goodness we at least had it for a little while because it is so helpful. And oh man, Dave is really just going to pour troops into this, isn't he? Yikes, man. He really is. There, there's no chance. <laughs> I, I really don't have a chance at this one. The only chance I got is to pretty much just bait Dave into bringing his infantry toward a turret. Which is fine, I can do that. It's just, that's kind of all I got. I lost my, I lost my snow speeder too. Oh boy, okay, you guys, you guys don't, you can't really do much in the way of damage, so just kind of let the turret soak it up. Let the turret soak it up. Okay. Alright, you guys help flank, or at least provide some support. Good, 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 good. Good, this will be hard. <laughs> Our little back line here of whatever troops we can muster. Get over here and just keep building turrets. 
We can't take out that artillery, but we most certainly can try to take out the infantry. Psych. <laughs> we are losing so many. Pull back, pull back. Pull back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be there in a flash. Whatever you say. You get over here and start just building up turrets. Just keep building turrets, man. That's all we got. You pull back again. Oh my gosh, look at this huge nuke that just whizzed past this one guy. Oh gosh, get in there. Get in there. Get in this bunker. What else do we got? Okay, more turrets. Oh no, the artillery! <laughs> that artillery is crazy! Okay, the artillery is really pumping it. Oh boy, alright, get the Tauntaun. Let's see if we can... Grab any more turrets. Any more turrets because we're losing that line. You buddy keep- Oh, actually, no, 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 no. We can use you. Get out of there. Get out. Okay, hey, Tauntaun. Try to see if you can just grab the- Oh, no, no, Tauntaun, no! No, you're getting shot by the bombers! Oh my gosh! Look at this mess! All the troops that they're sending at us. Plus bombers. Hey, that was a pretty useless bombing run, though. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, you guys just keep trying to do what you can. Defend this place as well as you can, really. Alright, you get over here. Go help out our guys. And let's just surround the heck out of Dave's forces. How are these dudes doing? Oh, they're doing great! Alright! Alright! All right, let's go get this Gungan. Move him over, grab this lovely point. <laughs> oh my gosh, and now we're just suppressing these guys, but they ain't doing, ain't doing great. You guys get down, and you just hit him. Hit him, hit him. Use that machine, the machine gun. Bro, I, I said use the machine gun, and you did not. Oh my gosh, spawn kill, okay. Okay, okay, I don't want to look at that, that's embarrassing. Alright, can you guys take some pot shots from down there? From up here? Do some pot shots? Yeah, 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 no, 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 no! Oh my gosh, the amount of damage they do. Oh my goodness, that is insane. Just take pot shots. Take pot shots right through here. Do as much as you. Okay, you got hit by the artillery. All right, all right. I get it. I get it. Fair enough. Oh wait, 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 wait! Take pot shots now. Take pot shots now. There's infantry there. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! No! 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 This artillery! Oh my gosh! What the heck am I supposed to do? Look, see, I've got, like, this entire map surrounded. But what the heck is this anti-air doing here? What the heck is that? Alright, well, that'll take literally forever for you guys to destroy, but there's nothing else to do. Uh, I'll actually keep that for now, frankly. There's just nothing you could do, guys. Just keep... Can we grab more from this hangar, please? Please, please? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, who's this? Hit, hit the army troopers. Hit the army troopers and strafe them too. Yes, yes, do those drifts. Look at that. Woo. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, watch out, watch out, watch out. No, no, no. Listen to what I'm saying. Drift them and make sure to avoid the, uh, the grenades they're tossing. Oh my gosh, look at this mess. Look at the... Ooh. That's, that's such a sad sight, to be honest. The, the Rebel Alliance logo on fire. Surrounded by flames. Pretty much engulfed in flames. Oh my goodness gracious. Why? Oh, why? We were doing so well. Uh, how can I... There's this turret right here. Oh, ooh, ooh. Thank goodness you can eye on, but ooh, that's dangerous. How much damage can you- oh, nice! Nice, these Gungans are great- oh, they're not great anymore! Okay! <laughs> hey, can we get one more squad of gun- okay. Nope. Okay, that's all we got. 
That's all we got here. Is just these. Ooh, ooh, no, 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 no. Turret, keep hitting them. Come on, turret. You do that damage. That's right. That's right. That's why I built that turret. Okay, now build up another command post, please. <laughs> Get another command post. Of course. Okay. Get out of there. Okay. Narrow miss. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was plugging in my uh, my other computer because I have to make sure I'm recording my audio. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we're back in business. And by back in business, I mean we're already losing. Pull you guys back. You're taking artillery fire, you can't do much. Just have the turrets kind of hit the infantry with as much fire as they can put out, but... Yeah, it ain't gonna be much. Okay. That artillery is actually insane, by the way. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> I always hate artillery in this game. I don't know why, but it's just its so frustrating. And oh my gosh, I almost lost the battle. I'm about to lose the battle. These guys got to run. You got to run, and you have to run quick. Just get in that corner and let the turrets do as much damage as they can. <laughs> we got these two goobers here. And that's it. That's all I got. I got two turrets. Those goobers. Well, actually, three turrets. Woo-hoo. <laughs> I'm losing a reinforcement point, too. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, here we go. Hide in the corner. Keep hiding. Where is the enemy? I'm waiting. Oh, here we go. Okay. One squad going in. One squad taking a lot of heat. Oh, that's it. No. That's not. Oh, they're charging in, turrets, they're charging in, they're charging in, take this one out. Excuse me. Hit him, hit him. <laughs> hey, you guys gotta run. You guys gotta run. Run while the turrets are being attacked. Get out of there. Turret, I need you to hit the guys that might hit ours. Run, turret, run, I mean not turret, run troops. Run, run, don't take damage. No! No, we lost them. We got 11 heavy army trooper platoons, two army support platoons. Oh my gosh, did we defend the heck out of Naboo. And still, still we <laughs> took so many losses. What the heck was that? All right, fine. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me, let me quickly do a save and, oh boy. Well, you know what? You might have taken Naboo. But we're going to take out the Executor. And on top of that, we also can take out Adziri. <laughs> we'll take out Adziri. And then we can also probably reclaim our territory here. What do I have in terms of a fleet? Nothing. What? <laughs> really? I have nothing? Hold up. Hold up, I still have tech being built? Alright. Then let's just get some quasars. Let's just keep building up starfighters. Let's build up that platoon. I, wow. Okay, I'll bring up some Corellian Corvettes as well. Oh my gosh. Hammerheads. I haven't built those in a while. I really haven't been even paying attention to our fleet situation. And notably, that's a yikes. <laughs> that's a real yikes. <laughs> just, just get me some... Just build me up a little fleet and I can attack Naboo. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's see what we can do on Eridus. Let's see if we can do this. The Executor Class Star Destroyer. Let's fight this guy. And let's let's win. Let me let me see if I can win this. So I'm gonna bring a Pathfinder, a Nebulon B, and just kinda have him sit in the corner. <laughs> And if I have to, I will use our larger ships and heroes, but at the moment, I'm really not interested in that. So we're going to V-line it straight for the Executor. We're going right in, and we're going to bring in our best starfighters to kind of do a lot of damage. Will I lose them? Yeah, probably. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to lose my favorite starfighters to have, besides the X-Wing, of course. I mean, we're going to lose a lot of X-Wings probably, but... The new class starfighters that are fantastic and really helpful, the E-wings, the K-wings, they're probably not going to make it. 
We're going to need support craft, most certainly, U-wings. So we've got heavy bombers. We have strike fighters that can also have some bombing capability. And then we have support fighters as well. And then we're going to bring in our normal bombers, some Y-wings, some X-wings for starfighter support, and then some A-wings, especially for interceptor support, because we're going to need to make sure that we're guarding up our ships. So we've got support support. We have starfighter support. We have general starfighter support. And then we have interceptor support and bomber support and heavy bomber support. We've got a whole lot of shebang, whole lot of things, and let's get right into it. Let's kind of let's kind of take a peek at what we got in this fleet. I mean, look at this starfighter mass. Usually, I would never suggest doing this. Never send your starfighters alone. You don't want to do that. But since it's just the executor, no support craft besides that single carrier situation. We can have the starfighters go alone because we need as much heavy tonnage that we can get from these tiny ships. And that's what we're doing. Now, unfortunately, we're also going to incur a lot of losses. I mean, a lot. We don't want these A-Wings, for instance, to take point because they're going to they're gonna absorb a lot of damage. And the targeting systems of the Executor will be focused on them initially for a longer time. What we want to do is essentially confuse the executor, sending out all our starfighters at once and make it so it's really tough for all of the weapon systems to kind of focus up on one of our guys. And here is the behemoth. Look at this guy. Look at that monster. Oh my gosh. Here it is. What do we have? We've got just a terrifying display of force. Okay. So we, we need to start grouping up our starfighters here. I want X-Wings. X-Wings, I need you to actually do something for me. Or actually, E-Wings. E-Wings, I need you to take care of this. Deal with the fighters as well as you can here. But your mission first is to take out this thing. Because it also provides anti-fighter support in the way of fighters. So fighters can also take out our fighters. And also, they um, this thing, is it'll, it'll, it'll be used to... Uh, as AI, AA, uh, anti-aircraft. So we don't want we don't want any of that. Next, I want the K wings to focus fire on the shield generator up top. I want the Y wings to focus fire on another shield generator if there is one. And then the X wings the same. So Y wings, where are my Y wings? Hello, hello, oldies but oldies from the Clone Wars themselves. Themselves, I want you to tell. It's so hard to see because it's so well lit. I need you to target. Ah, here we go. Another shield generator and X wings. Go for the other one. If you need help from the K wings, you will get it. But oh my gosh, look at this barrage. Oh my goodness, and look at all the fire this thing is getting. Look, you can see the A wings are really getting into the thick of things. I need them to boost their engine stat because they need to move quick. Gotta make sure we have them moving, because I don't want any of the targeting systems to really get them. I don't want them to be hit too hard. Alright, E-Wings are taking that out. And oh my goodness gracious, this thing is getting lit up. Wow, where are our support craft? Support craft, we need you. Where are you guys? Start dropping off support. As much as you can, really. Kind of help out our guys. We're losing K-Wings, so start bringing them in. Come on, guys. Oh, man, we're losing fighters quick. Look, we dropped... We're dropping fighters like flies. Okay, we need more. We need more stat. We're going to go straight for the bombers, I think. We're going to need more bombers. Bring them in over here. The support isn't really supporting quick enough, so we just need to bring in bombers and squadron of X-Wings. That'll be able to do a little bit. Alright, X-Wings, break off and engage. Take these guys out. U-Wings, you really gotta help. Provide some support here. We need you. Oh, nice. E-Wings. E-Wings, good job. You did what I told you to do, and I wasn't even paying attention. Well done. Now take out this next one. We got another one that we gotta deal with. You guys, immediately start engaging. I don't think we got the shield. Yeah, we did not get the shield generator. Oh, boy. In fact, we... Did we not take out any of the shields yet? I don't know where the other one is, to be honest. K-Wings! K-Wings! Tell me how we're doing. What does this guy have? 
The Super Star Destroyer Executor was the first of its kind. It's under the command of Firmus Piet and leads Darth Vader's Death Squadron. The Executor is powerful enough to handle most threats on its own, but can struggle against organized fighter attacks. That is right. 200,000 shields and 250,000 hull. That's insane. <laughs> this thing is literally ridiculous. How are we doing in terms of its shields? Something's not right. We got that shield hardpoint down, but another shield is still operational, I guess. Unless, I, am I missing something? Like, am I totally missing something? Where is there? Oh, there's another shield generator hardpoint. Alright, everybody. Change targets. Go after the shield generator. K-Wings, you keep doing what you gotta do. But all the Y-Wings, all of the Y-Wings, I need you to go after those shields. Please. Please take out those shields. Excellent. Now we can bring in the rest of the fleet. The X-Wings, please help out. U-Wings, also please give support to our guys here. You drop... You drop your supplies here, you drop your supplies over here. This X-Wing squadron, take out this TIE brute, please. Oh my gosh, I'm losing more fighters. I'm losing fighter after fighter after fighter after fighter. Oh my gosh, okay. Come on, Y-Wings, come on now. We're running out of Y-Wings, we're running low. Let me bring in some X-Wings, which also have proton torpedoes. They can help out a little bit. A-Wings, A-Wings, how you doing? We lost, oh, we've lost A-Wings too. Oh, no. Okay. You guys get in there. Get in that fight. Because this guy's still in it. Oh, beautiful, but we took out his shields. Now we just got to really focus down on him. Excellent work. A-Wings. Take out those Starfighters, please. U-Wings, you do the same. But also drop off your supplies, please. <laughs> I have given them so many directions. They're probably like, jeez Louise, will this guy like stop? This guy shut up. <laughs> We're doing everything he tells us to do, but he won't stop talking. I get it, I get it, okay. Alright. Looks like these A-Wings are going to need some help. E-Wings, break off and engage. A-Wings, boost your engines. X-Wings, break off and engage. You too, you just use your rockets. Get in there. Help out that A-Wing. He's really zooming around them, but he's going to need some support real quick. U-Wings, good job. Now start dogfighting. Where are the other U where's the other U-Wing squadron here? Did I lose him? Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Hey, drop some support over there, please. That'd be good if you can do that. That'd be a smart idea. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good so far. Honestly. Against the Executor-class Star Destroyer, the biggest ship the Empire can field. I mean, look at this thing, dude. Look at this thing. It's crazy. With those amazing engines and a fantastic model i think this was from the empire war remake team it was a really popular mod uh, especially back in i think like 2016 through 2019 a lot of people love that mod right now it's kind of going through a development period where it's just kind of they're kind of really in the thick of things but the uh, the guy i don't know if this model is exactly from there correct me if i'm wrong but the guy who worked on that that mod, which is based on making Empire War as beautiful as possible, he made a crazy model such as this. It's insane. I think he did. I think he did. If not, kudos to whoever else did it. Because that is crazy for a game made in 2006. Early 2000s, man. That is wild. All right. K-Wings, get in there. Y-Wings, keep doing what you got to do. Keep hitting this executor. Oh, man. We are losing Starfighters. Bring in the A-Wings, and then bring in some more X-Wings. We need some heavier hitters. Y-Wings! Oh my gosh! I'm losing Starfighters faster than I can replace them! A-Wings, get in there. Alright, and then new X-Wings. You just kind of keep... Just start hitting this guy. Start hitting the Executor with as many Proton Torpedoes as you can. Y-Wings, you too. We've got another batch of Y-Wings coming in. Love to see it. And let's eye on the heck out of this guy again. Eye on him. Decrease that fire rate. Remember what I said? It decreases fire rate and decreases his ability to move because of the engines being stifled. Yeah, that's right. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Hit him with ions. Honestly, I think because this ship is so big, the 11 squadrons of Y-Wings that I have that are ioning him are doing nothing. <laughs> I really think so. I really think they're not doing much. 
Uh, or at least that'd be that'd be a pretty cool feature if it's like you know the ship is just so big that you have to ion only like corners of it or specific parts of it to make it really effective. And wow, do you look at the left? Look at the left. Look at this huge barrage of proton torpedoes from the X-wings. Like my gosh, I'm not paying attention to these guys that much, but look, they they fired their proton torpedoes so far away over here that by the time they made it to the executor, they had another set or they reloaded quick enough to be able to hit them again. That's pretty freaking rad. <laughs> these guys are metal, and I've lost so many K wings, dude. Why? I should. I honestly shouldn't have used them. Well, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. These guys were kind of the MVPs of the fight, especially the initial round. So I wonder if it was a real loss or not. Because I could have just used more Y-Wings and X-Wings, but you can already see that we're really depleted. I'm going to I'm gonna have to start bringing actual ships soon, now that I think about it. Because our, our fleet is quite damaged. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bring in the A-Wings. And then bring in some support craft. I don't know if the U-Wings are really using their abilities to the max. Like, we really could benefit from you guys actually doing it. Because you're not doing what I need you to do. Which is dropping off your supplies. You really gotta start helping out our guys here. Meanwhile, A-Wings, really focus up. Take out as many Starfighters as you can. They're trying to intercept our bombers. Get those and take them out. Blow them out of the sky. All right. Yeah, we're running real low on Starfighters. Oh my gosh. I would have had to use the K-Wings either way, to be honest. I would have had to. So our support craft is doing a little bit of help. Not a lot, but it's okay. It's okay. We might be able to make it. We might be able to make do with what we have here, but we're almost halfway through the hull. A 250,000 hull, I will, I will add. So that is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, keep supporting our guys. Keep supporting them. Come on now. Actually, I think I can grab you. Can you move? No, you cannot. Never mind. Okay. 20 degrees right, brother. Alright, come on now. Good job, A-Wings. Good job. Clear the skies for our star fighters. Dude, look at this. Look at this thing. Can you imagine being on this guy? You know you're going to go down and you're surrounded by all these flies. It's like when you accidentally step on a bee's nest, you know, one of those, or a wasp nest. <laughs> you know you're about to get stung, and bro is getting stung a million times over. I mean, look at this. Look at all these proton torpedoes just flying around everywhere. My gosh, really start focusing up on the hull if there is a hull hard point. Is there one? Yeah, he has a whole hard point. Hit that. Where are my K-Wings? K-Wings, aim for this guy. I feel like I probably should have started you guys off with that, probably. Because a lot of our proton torpedoes are, are tracking hard points that are already destroyed, so they're just like, oh, whatever, I guess I'm just going to fly away now. <laughs> Alright, bring in the rest of our starfighters here. We'll bring in our support. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh no! We're out of starfighters! Oh no! Oh lord, okay! Get in there! Please get in there! And you wings again! Again with this! Just drop off supplies wherever you can. I'm just, I'm throwing it anywhere and everywhere. And if I bring any small craft, it's probably gonna get taken out is the issue. Like this bulk here, how, what does this bulk cruiser come with? A T-Wing, a Z, Z95, and an R41. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. I'll bring one of you in. I'll take those three starfighters and then you're gonna go probably. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna die. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. There's nothing else for you to do. I don't know, do you have, can you, do your lasers travel that far or, or are you not in range? You're not in range, okay. Maybe your starfighters are. I'll bring in those starfighters and have them do as much as they can. That's that's helpful. I will absolutely take those starfighters. Excuse me. We got a guy with ion cannons and proton torpedoes. That's very helpful. Beautiful. Okay, so you have weapons that can start targeting. I think it's probably just heavy lasers. They're not great. But hey, I'll take it. You also can probably provide some sort of anti-fighter support. Or anti-fire. Or anti-fighter fire support which would be really good 
<laughs> you can see, oh my gosh, dude, I'm really getting into this. Okay, now we're over halfway through this thing, but we're losing starfighters like mad. We just gotta keep replenishing them with this. Hmm. <laughs> Anyone else I can bring that gives me better starfighters? Not really. <laughs> Not really. I could bring an Akbar, but I, I just don't want to. That's way too risky and way too foolish. You know it's going to be a bad idea. I could bring in this MC-30. It has proton bombs. Huge proton torpedoes that can really deal a lot of damage. And that'll probably help out a little. Not much, but it'll help out a little. I just don't want him to die. But thankfully, since we've got the uh, the Executor kind of, kind of crippled at this moment, at this point, we can bring you in. Y-Wings, please ion cannon this guy. Don't have him target our, our lovely ball cruisers. I would not be keen on that. And I could bring in a hero like Akbar. I really could. Or I could bring in Leonidas. He's got A-Wings. Or I could bring in myself. Actually, now that I think about it, I know it might... Woo, 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 watch out. Oh my gosh, you're taking fire. I don't know if it's a good idea to bring myself in now that I saw that. Oh man, that was... That's a scary amount of firepower that's being pumped into this guy. And my my ship is way larger than these little bulk cruisers. So it might be it might be a little dangerous. I'm not a big fan of that idea. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Good job, A-Wings. Take out the Starfighters as best you can. You wings again, please provide support. Please do it. Give our Starfighters a little bit of an oomph. We need it. If you can do that, they'll be grateful for it. I mean, unfortunately, it's not great of an oomph, that great of an oomph. Because our... Oh, man. That sucks. You're right up top. Right on top of this executor right here. Can you do it? Can you do it? Keep going. Keep going. Man, the starfighters... Oh, I just saw one of my fighters go down. Oh, man, I really want to do it. I want to bring myself in. <laughs> I want to bring myself in. So bad. So bad. I know it's going to be a bad idea. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Let me bring in a Nebulon, and I'm going to bring myself at the rear. Right there. Oh, my gosh. The fire that goes straight for my guy is insane. Dude instantly starts targeting my cruiser. But look at the fighters I bring in. I mean, come on now. Look at the fighters. I'm bringing in X-Wings. I'm bringing in Y-Wings. That's my cruiser. We got the discipline coming in, the rooster cruiser itself. And now we have some more Y-Wings and X-Wings who will do the job. Get in there, boys. Please get in there. We need you. And my cruiser is totally doomed if this dude ever manages to turn around. Or just, you know, honestly, even if he just uses a well-placed spray, I'm doomed. <laughs> it's, it is pretty much over. Y-Wings. All the Y-Wings again. Please use. Okay, I really am running out of Y-Wings. Thankfully, I brought in reinforcements. Use your Ion Cannons as much as you can. Ion the heck out of this guy. Oh, unfortunately, the Y-Wings are somewhere. I don't even know where the heck these guys are. Where are my Y-Wings? There you guys are. Alright, yeah. Ion Cannon this guy. And let's have the new Y-Wings do the same. Beautiful. Look at that, sending in those torpedoes. Nice work, nice work. Okay, hit him, hit him. Yes, nice, alright. So now we've got those torpedoes in the mix. Send in your ions. And decrease his fire rate. Yeah, mess him up, mess him up. Nice, alright. Okay, looks like I'm being a little ballsy. I'm just... <laughs> I'm charging in. I know that the executor is probably not doing too hot. So, oh! And I was right. <laughs> well, that was smart. The executor is down. Oh my gosh. 19 Y-Wing squadrons, 7 X-Wings, 10 U-Wings, 8 A-Wings. What about my K-Wings? Did I not actually lose any or is it just not showing up? Because if I didn't, that would be nice, but oh my gosh. We actually took out the Executor and a couple Ton Folks. That is awesome. Well done, everybody. We did lose, yeah, we did lose E-Wings, and it seems like we lost all of the K-Wings. Wow. 
It didn't, they didn't even show up. We lost all of the K-Wings. The most important starfighters. And we lost them all. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. I mean, I guess it is what it is, but that's so unfortunate. It, it is a good... They are good fighters, I guess. All right. Fine, fine, fine. So next we'll take out Adziri. Let me save real quick. Okay. Yeah, so next we'll take out Adziri and then see what happens next. All right, and we're back. Apologies for the cut. I just had an impromptu meeting that lasted a couple hours, but for you, thankfully, it only lasted a second because of the cut. So, you know, that's just kind of how the adult life is for right now for me. You know, I have to constantly work and also meet just to kind of learn different things through different people, and that's just kind of what I'm doing. So this meeting was just me trying to learn things. And so getting back into the battle agenda here, thank God. We took out the Executor class Star Destroyer. Unfortunately, we lost a big portion of our fleet. I lost some of the best starfighters I have access to. The K-Wings, a lot of Y-Wings, and the majority of my E-Wings. Everyone's gone because of the Executor. And they're building another one up soon, so that's quite vexing. But that's okay, because we're going to take out Adziri. We're going to make sure of it, and we're going to make sure that Dave definitely doesn't come back from this actually let me <laughs> i just realized that there is a uh, starfighter force on adziri so let me make sure that i have some troops that i can bring over to help me out let's bring one more air unit okay looks like we've got snipers i'll take these snipers off the ground bring them to me everyone i need everyone i need everyone i can that i can use for this battle because we're <laughs> we're definitely going to need the help i think this is looking a little bit dangerous, but here we go, here we go. We've got our two group. Outzok? What? Two squads of Nogri assassins, three platoons of army support troops, and a one platoon of heavy armor trooper, har army troopers against our barracks. What? That's crazy. Just infantry. This is a new daring tactic for Dave. Hold up. Let's bring all our troops. Bring all our troops south. I think there's something over here that I can use, right? Or it's something somewhere. Somewhere where I can get units. Or maybe I just have to use turrets again. Oh, brother. All right. Tauntauns, Tauntauns, start claiming turrets immediately. We're going to need them. There aren't actually a lot of places where we can get turrets, too. Which is kind of problematic, I'm not going to lie, because it's a majority infantry battle that we're going to be having. Also, whoa, this planet is bright. What is this? What the heck is going on here? Alright, well, turn down your brightnesses, folks. This is a, this is a very bright planet. The snow. Alright, snow speeder, you stay over there. All troops, get into the bunker. You guys hang out. And then you build a turret up if you can. We've got infantry trying to come in and take us out. Oh, watch it, watch it. Snow speeder, see what you can do about this situation. We don't want these guys taking out our turret that we're building up right now. It's not good for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take those guys down. Ooh, you're taking some heat, though. Ooh. No, 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 no. Get out of there. Okay, you got an infantry turret coming up. Good, 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 good. Okay. You guys, on the other hand, I'm going to move you around. Specifically, here, let me have the Tauntaun move. Maybe we can grab a turret. All of my hover tanks I want to move around. There we go. Okay, take these guys down. Take each infantry squad out individually. Wow, this is a bright planet. What the heck is this? Also, who are you fighting right now? Is this... Is that just standard infantry? Okay, okay, okay. Tauntaun, get out of there. Go get out. Get out and book it. Take this turret. You guys fall back to the turrets. Build up as many as we can. You, you're going to take a lot of fire, so kind of watch it. Meanwhile, they're going to be tacked onto you. They're going to be targeting you, so you keep retreating. You keep retreating. I don't want your shields to go down and you to go down with it. 
Tauntaun, I'm going to have you go on a daring mission. I need you to build up that turret. Oh, no, 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 no. Get back. Get back, get back. You don't have shields. Get back. Don't die. Pull back to the turret. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you keep engaging. Good, we've got our suppression troops here. Keep hitting them. Keep hitting them. Let me get some snow speeders up in here. Oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. All right, you guys. Start hitting up the units that are kind of far away. You, I need a turret over here. Oh, we lost our Tauntaun. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's build another. Ah. I'm losing these tanks. You get out of there. Out. Out, 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 out. Tauntaun, help me out. Build me up a turret. We're going to need it. And you defend this position as much as you can, please. Fall back. Oh, no. The snow speeder. Oh, my gosh. They're charging at us. Help. We need more units. You guys get out of there. Get out of there and go and intercept them. Go intercept as best you can. Tauntaun, you go here. Let's see if you can round up these troops here. Come on, come on, come on. They're really charging our base. Let's see if we can move the Tauntaun down. What are you? Oh, you're a turret. Or you're a tank. Tank, try to flank them. See if you can flank these guys and surround them. We've got them kind of boxed in right now. Excellent work. Look at this. We've surrounded these troops pretty well. Really well, actually. Except you're going too far. Don't get in. <laughs> don't, don't get in there too far. Let's get the Tauntaun. I want you to capture this point if you can. We lost a tank back there, though. Bringing everybody around. Get everyone here. Tauntaun, take over this. All right, all right. Are these guys really taking heat from this side? What is going on here? Okay, so these are our support troops, I presume. Okay, eliminate them. Get rid of them. Good job. What a strange battle. I think Dave really tried to use what he could. What kind of hodgepodge ground forces he could muster. And, I mean, it didn't really work. But <laughs> and thanks for letting me know. Now I'm going to, um, let's see, 5 grand plus 20 upkeep. Yeah, yeah, I could do that. I could use a life factory in the sector anyway. Oh, I already have one. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'll just bring in some regular troops for now. We'll do some regular troops for now. Just kind of have them sit there because I think I might turn that into a money bags planet soon. Anyway, because once I take this planet and Ortu Plutonia and Utapau, we are golden. Um. Oh, also, what is the Utapau mission timing for that? 262. Okay, and I get four twin blades. Oh, that is... Ooh, that's good. Okay. Do that soon. I want to take out Atziri. So once we get these two troops to join us, once we get our forces to join up, then we are golden. Okay, let's save. But yeah, I've just been having a lot of meetings recently for things that I, I just want to try out. You know, it, you know, post-school conversations that I've been having because it is my last year of college. So I'm just kind of trying to see where I'm headed afterward because I love this channel very much. And I want to make sure that I can keep doing it as a lovely time and a lovely hobby. Because these, these conversations are not about YouTube. They're, they're about pharmacy and stuff. So... Um, because of that, I, I just want to make sure that I, I still have time for this, is what I'm trying to get at. Because this is, this is important for me. And working seven days a week, it has been admittedly pretty tough for me to be <laughs> able <laughs> to make a ton of time for it. But I most certainly have been very fortunate with the amount of time that I can give to it. So I'm, that's what I'm hoping to be able to continue doing.
give it my time. Give it the time it deserves, the attention it needs, all that jazz. All right. So we're going to have a bit of a situation with the air units here, notably. So we're going to need suppression troops for sure. Suppression teams, because that air, those air troops are going to be really tough. And I don't have anything besides Rogue Squadron, which might actually get destroyed. <laughs> because of, yeah, I need something destroyed. Yeah, I might have Rogue Squadron get destroyed. Because these air units are quite good. Let's just build up flak. Build up a ton of flak. And then I want... I want a group of troops that can defend. I really don't want to bring in any like super duper heroes, to be honest. Namely, I don't want to lose them to the air units. These air units can be very, very dangerous. And so if I bring in air units that can destroy... What are you shooting at? <laughs> if I bring in any of our heroes that are super important, I might lose them to just a stray tie. And it's, it's just not worth it, dude. It's not worth it. So we might be going with nameless troops today. Nameless fodder. <laughs> Which you guys might like, to be honest. It seems like I've been using a lot of the heroes recently, and, and it's been certainly fun. But I know you guys want to want me to try out just normal troops. So we'll be doing that. We've got saboteurs, infiltrator agents. Yeah, we'll take some infiltrators. That's going to be important. Infiltrators, building saboteurs. Yeah. All right, we're under attack. We need air. We need anti-air. Everyone get down. Everybody get down. And I want everyone to... Oh boy, how's this anti-air doing? Not great. Not great. Alright, troops. Here's the plan. I want everyone to kind of get down and hide by some flak. Hide by the flak cannons and just kind of wait it out. Sit it out and allow these air units to kind of take a lot of heat. Because if we can keep them away from us, then we can perform the assault. The problem is that, oh gosh, these ties are just so good at taking out my ground troops. One barrage from the ties have been able to really, can really destroy my, my unit here. Especially since these are militiamen. They're dressed up like rebels. Well, certainly are. But <laughs> they're militiamen. They've got some rebel, rep, rebel weaponry, but not, not a ton. So we've got a ton of anti-air. A ton of anti-air. And I want to bring these suppression platoons over. They're already suppressing <laughs> some barricades. All right, I need you guys to move over. Take these barricades, add anti-air. Literally litter this place with anti-air. And we're just not going to allow Dave to take out our infantry. Because we're going to do we're going to do mostly infantry here. Besides maybe some T-47 air speeders. I'm thinking that, but we'll see. Oh, he's beelining it. Everyone get in, everyone get in. Get in here. Get in this thing, stay in the bunker. Oh, beautiful, good job, good job. Wow. One TIE striker already nearly took out one of my, my platoons. Great. Great. All right. Oh my gosh, These this anti-air is doing no, is doing nothing. Alright, get in the bunker. All of you get in the bunker, whoever can fit. If you can't fit in the bunker, then so be it. <laughs> See where you can hide. Anywhere you can hide, get in there. Okay, it seems like these two units, these two guys. <laughs> the two single units want to hide. I mean, okay, fair enough. Hey, do you have range? No, you don't. Okay, everyone just stay down. Stay down and let the air, the anti-air do its thing. Oh, beautiful. And our suppression platoon's doing wonderfully. Good job, guys. Good job. We really got to watch out for these proton missiles right here. See that? Gosh, that's crazy. Hit those things. Hit them. TIE Strikers. Really hit them hard. These TIE Fighters are also good, but good lord. These TIE Strikers are something else. Hey, can you guys fire after this? Yeah, you can. Okay, good. Oh, man, we were kind of boxed right now. <laughs> we're kind of stuck. Um, what I could do is a quick blitz. The problem with a blitz with the um, T-47 airspeeders is they're totally going to get destroyed by the air that the, that the Empire has. Oh, hold up. We can get another turret. Let's get another anti-air turret. Build it up, build it up. We can just layer this place. 
<laughs> with AA. Oh my gosh. Come on, give it to him. Get another, get another. Alright, come on now. Oh, we lost that one. Oh, we lost that one. Run, run for it. Run. Group up with everyone else. We'll do some layered fire. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we're losing the locals. Oh no. Come on, everybody. Come on. Stay together. Stay together. Alright, hide in the trees and get down. Nice. Now we've got some layered cover. So these guys can't do nothing against us. We've got anti air galore. Oh, we got one missile coming in, though. Oh! Oh, that hurt my guys real bad. Oh my gosh, one two just got incinerated. Oh, three of them did, a few of them, four of them, five, six. Oh my gosh. Just a couple more ties and then the striker. Oh, if we can take those three out, we are golden for Edziri. Please, please. I don't think we'll be able to do it, to be honest. I think we're going to have to go. Dave is not... Oh, hold up. Nah, he's just baiting us right now. Oh, never mind, never mind. Oh my gosh. What were you guys... Were you guys sightseeing that proton torpedo? What were you doing? We're just waiting for him to hit you? Oh my goodness. We're, <laughs> we're losing so many of them. Alright, let's, let's ground up. Get everybody up. Let's get moving. Let's take this planet. I have no qualms with that, Ziri. I think this is an absolutely beautiful planet. I mean, look at this. Wow. Do you see the scenery? I, my camera kind of freaked out on the way. But, I mean, wow. Look at these troops. I am losing troops. What happened? Ugh, the TIE fighter. Okay. He took out a whole squad of militia. All right. Everybody get down. Get down. Get funky. Take that thing down. Hit it hard. Nice. Good job. Who had an ion cannon? What are you again? Spec 4 saboteurs. You have an ion cannon, huh? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. retreat. Hold up, who hit you? <laughs> we'll take that tank. Alright, one of you. Go get that tank. And then another one. Take this one. We'll take these two tanks. Get in there. Run for it. Beautiful. Okay. Fall back. <laughs> we got your tanks, now pull back. Get you out of there. Everyone else stay down. Everybody get down. And let these tanks start providing support fire. Oh no, the locals. Oh no. Oh, these poor guys. They're going to take so much heat. That's actually a great idea now that I think about it. Grab the locals. Grab the locals and bring them up front. They're great. They can provide us with some extreme cover fire. Bring all the locals in. Meanwhile, ATPT, start providing support fire. And then I want you, you go take this one. Go take the ATDT. Oh man, okay, hang on. We are, we need some better fire here. We need a better firing line. We're losing troops and we're losing this ATPT. Get back. I think I lost one already. And I lost the guy. Oh, did I lose you? Oh, no, 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 don't die, don't die. No. Fall back. Oh, gosh, we need some support. We need some help. What do I have that can help us? We've got building saboteurs. I can bring a sniper platoon and maybe some snow speeders. That can probably provide the support we need. The snipers will be able to take out the infantry that's kind of wrecking us right now. And then the um, the snow speeders will be able to provide support with the infantry again. <laughs> Alright, come on locals, I'm going to have you guys run up. And then get the snipers up there too. Snow speeders, you go. And speeders, you go. Oh, I love these speeders, man. I love how we get all these speeders. Alright. Bring in the speeders. I don't know what just blew. What is? What was that? Was that some sort of... Oh, a prison. Interesting. Did we get any units from that? We did. We did. Oh, beautiful. Get over here and guard them. Beautiful. Alright, you guys are now going to be our front line. Get over there. <laughs> Who do 
we get? We got some civilians, more civilians, or more militiamen. We got more militiamen and more. Hey, I will take it. I 100% will take it. More troops <laughs> will take more fire. That is excellent. All right, snipers, I'm really going to need you to start pouring it in. Meanwhile, vehicle grabbers, you take that one and you take that one. And run fast so they can't detect you. Get in there. Go, go, go. Kick them out. Nice work. All right, now run back. Oh, no. Oh, it's a far trek, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no, it's a pretty, pretty far run. All right, keep moving. Bring up the column. Bring everybody up. All right. You focus up. Oh, no, we're losing air units. Looks like they brought in some anti-air, didn't they? Yeah, they did. Oh, yes, they did. Tragic. We can't do anything about it either, really. Unless I can have the infantry kind of bring it up. Can you bring it up and take this out? Can you do it? Can you take him out? I know you're under heat. I know you're under fire. Let's see if we can bring these guys up too. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, we saved one snow speeder. A single snow speeder. Let's keep moving. So the hard part is our units are just not in range. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Hey, you fall back. Oh, I lost that building saboteur. Fall back. Hold position, everybody. Hold position. Take fire. Okay, we gotta get everybody back in line. Back in line and start firing. We're not doing enough here. We need more locals. We need more of you guys when I don't have heroes. It's so tough. Oh my gosh, a non-hero battle is actually really hard to do. And that's it. That's all I've got. I only have, like, just a few units. Oh my goodness gracious. And I'm losing them. ATDT, fall back. You. Oh, no, no. You're good. You're, you're chilling. Where's my guy who can grab... Oh, he's gone. Okay. I was going to say, the dude who can give us tanks. Oh, no. Alright, pull back. Pull back. Pull back. This is a really tough fight. Pull back. All right, get the locals up front, get them up front, get them grounded, get these locals as well up front. Oh my gosh, how do I have 10 units? This is all I got. Where are the rest of my troops? They're back here? They're back here. Okay, I'm going to have you join forces with the rest of our squads. The locals are going to be taking a little bit of the damage, but my troops who have or just better damage dealers in general, we'll be able to provide support for them. So we'll be kind of... Oh, we're fighting an uphill battle. Oh, that kind of really stinks. <laughs> they have the high ground, which means they can push a little bit harder on my troops. It's kind of a, it's kind of a thing in Star Wars. <laughs> Big meme. The high ground meme. And it's, I think it's pretty valid. When you look down at the high ground and you're looking down on somebody and opening fire. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My camera just went crazy. <laughs> but it's a big thing. It's a big thing in war. Where you want to have the high ground. Alright. Anyway. Get these speeders. Pull the speeders back, actually. I'm not speaking on something that I'm an expert in. I just it, It's one of those things where you feel it. You can't really explain it. Where, like, yeah, I'd rather have the high ground than the low ground in the situation. I can't really explain why. <laughs> Well, I need to bring up the bring up the locals. Bring them up and give me the rest of the local platoons. Okay, so we've got two, we got three locals left. I'm gonna bring you guys up. Everyone, group up and start moving up there. Get over. Let's move. Are you stuck? Are you guys stuck? Oh, you are. Okay. 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 Here we go, here we go, okay. I'll get you back together. There you go, alright, you're back. Back in business. You guys, stop moving. Stop moving, I didn't bring the rest of the column forward. <laughs> get up, get up, get up. Save these guys. Save them, save them. Oh my gosh. 
And then everyone get down and start opening up. Open fire. Keep going. Get over the hill so you can actually see who's shooting at you. That's a big thing. Get over the hill. Alright, you guys, I really need you to start hitting this. Get over and fire that rocket right at here. Or grenades. Yeah, this thing right here. This thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, Twi'leks, come on. Oh my gosh, you lost a guy. Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Please, please, point blank. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, let's move up. Bring up the rest of the troops. Man, this is a very like, consolidated force. A lot of locals involved and not a lot of of the, the typical heroes for the rebels. It's, it's more so what you'd probably see in a majority of the skirmishes. Just standard infantry. And these guys will be promoted to the elitist infantry because they just survived a crazy battle. I mean, look at this. All they went through, all the troops that they lost. I'm going to have you build up another turret. Yeah, you can't build one there. You can build one here, though, I think. That enemy? Okay, that's mine. Thank goodness. Okay, build up these turrets. They'll help you actually take out these buildings. I don't know why I can't. Okay, there we go. No? There we go. All right. Build up these turrets. It'll be helpful for defense in the future. And then also... Eh, you might be able to use it to actually take out these lovely buildings. Alright, there we go, there we go. Come on, troops, move up. Bring it up, bring it up. Look at this platform. It's a double bubble platform, and that's what brings in those crazy units that we've had to fight. The TIE fighters, the TIE strikers, this thing is what caused a lot of problems for us in this battle. We don't like this thing. Come on, turrets. Come on, turrets. Man, these anti-vehicle turrets aren't even really providing that much help. I'm shocked. But now we're getting some. Alright. What? Oh, we're not done! Oh! Anti-vehicle turret! Oh, it's a turret on turret battle! Hold up, we're not even done here. We have a whole other command post we have to take out. What? Oh my gosh, this battle's not finished. Let's move. Everybody get up. Get up, let's get going. We got an anti-infantry turret inbound. Oh, beautiful. Okay, you're retreating. Hey, don't even don't even fight him. Don't even fight him. Don't even try. We're retreating, or they're retreating. Get out of here. This is our planet. Get out. Oh my gosh. Wow. I feel like we lost more than that, honestly. Excuse me, I feel like we lost a lot more than what <laughs> was stated. But you know what? That's okay, because we got Adziri. Now we don't have to worry about defending Eridus for the most part. I think we can have the potential for Falleen to be problematic, but for the most part, we got Adziri in this episode. We took out the Executor Class Star Destroyer, but we also lost Naboo, surprisingly. <laughs> So I have to retake this planet in the next one, and then probably start consolidating our fleets and fixing up this area. You know, getting Garrus, doing the Czar mission finally, oh my gosh, <laughs> doing the Czar mission, and then clearing out some of these plants. I know I opened up a second front, so let's see, do we have anything else we can work on here besides adding to the defense of this planet? That's kind of it. Um... Oh yeah, I can definitely use some more units. Wow, I looking at our, our population meter, we are very low on troops. I must be losing a lot. Oh yeah, I have been. Oh yeah, the executor made me lose. <laughs> like, essentially a whole fleet. Okay, we'll take some bulk carriers. And what else can I order? What, what else can I get special order for? I know I just purchased a few nebulons, but I'll take another. I'll take a dreadnought. Um, Seleucami, you can do frigates. We'll take some... Oh, no, we're going to get four twin blades. No, I'm okay without it. We'll take... Um, <clears throat> now we're good with... Could we use more quasars? Honestly, we could use a few more quasars. We could. We could. I'll take a quasar. Yeah. And I'll take... You know, honestly... For our defensive fleets, 
I'll take a couple Dreadnoughts and an MC-80 Justice to kind of keep building up that defense fleet. And now, boom, there goes our money. <laughs> oh my gosh, is there anything in the way of money that I can <laughs> somehow recoup from? Any recuperation? <laughs> of funds because wow we we went from a hundred grand to now 40. <clears throat> we have the dauntless we've got a liberator cruiser which we can use which does have an extensive complement and just a few other things we can do i'm actually really excited for the rest of this campaign we've got a lot of things that i can do and a lot of crazy moves that i can pull <clears throat> with our with our extensive fleet composition honestly we're gonna get four twin blades which are going to be great for anti-fighter support and speaking of which since i got these bulk here bulk cruisers honestly i just need more dreadnoughts i need more dreadnoughts to be the workhorse for our damage output we really need to start being able to take out dave's forces in close range combat that'd be really helpful plus some marauders for the long range things or marauders and the mc 30 c's sheesh that'll be that will be a good, good thing for us. So I think that's, that's, yeah, I think that settles it. That's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be pushing heavier in this sector, and then we're going to be pushing heavier in here. I'm thinking to start taking a couple or a few of these planets in this area, and maybe eventually opening up a front against another faction. But we'll see. That'll be a different story. But with that said, thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Sirius. It's spelled like Cyrus, mouse like Sea Rooster. Just take out the tur. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.